Joining us is Emma Sproul. She is a school safety agent, and she is assigned to the Long Island City facility. Emma, welcome to the segment. How you doing, Greg? My name is Emma Sproul. I'm a school safety agent. I've been on the job for 12 years. I worked at environmental study for five and a half. I worked at an elementary school for a year. Um, I do, I deal with the scanning unit at Central Headquarters. We go out and we do uh, the schools, fix the equipment, repair the equipment. I've been there for at least, well, since 06. And uh, that's about it, about my background. Well, you know, it's not often I have somebody up here with uh, a hidden historical background in New York City history. So I am going to reveal something that many of us do not know, and I, I hope you really share this with us. Okay. When I first went to the New York City Police Academy, there was a plaque and a story there. And I remember the first black police officer for New York City Police Department, his name was Moses Cobb. And I understand that you are a distant relative of his. Yes, I'm the great-granddaughter of Moses Peacock. Tell us about your great-great-grandfather. Well, my great-grandfather was one of the first black police officers in the 1800s. He walked all the way from Kenston, North Carolina, to New York. He migrated to New York. You say he walked? Yes, from Kenston, North Carolina, to New York. Um, we did, in October, a street naming for him in Utica at the 77th Precinct which was done on October 29th at the 7-7 Precinct. We had a street renaming, which is on Bergen and Utica. Now, for, for anybody who doesn't know, we're talking about an uh, African-American police officer in the 1800s. Yes. Yes. Well, he was someone that strived and worked hard to make a way for his family. Um, from what I was told, he came from slavery. Um, my cousin Gladys Marshall, who was the one that I met at the um, at One Police Plaza when they had a Black History function in 1903. 2003. In 2003. Sorry, um, I met her, and she was the one that filled me in on the story. So I began to start doing some research. Then I met a man named Jacob Morris who started helping me. I met him at a function that we had for the Explorers, and he was the one that started helping me get the ball rolling to do the street naming. I, it was uphill, downhill, but it was successful on October 29th at the 7-7 Precinct where the street renaming is on you to kind of bargain. Yeah, I, I know Jacob Morris does nothing but get streets named. I think that's his <laughs> mission in life. Yes. So you two were destined yes. to find each other. Yes. And mm. we were introduced by you. I Mr. remember Ford. doing it. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. you know, it was really a great honor and a privilege that I met him. He helped me out through a lot of things. I was when I felt like giving up, he said, No, you're gonna stay here, you're gonna stand strong. Because this is what your grandfather did. He stood strong. He fought no matter what. Obstacles came across his way. He stood strong, and he did what he had to do to become the first black police officer. Now, for everyone listening, uh, and you want to go and visit this street, where would we go? You would go to the 77 Precinct. It's 127 Utica Avenue. It's on Bergen and Utica. And that is located in the in borough of Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York. Yes. Yes. Emma, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for coming on. And we enjoyed hearing about your great-grandfather, enjoyed hearing about how much you enjoy working for school safety. Thank you so much. This Greg. is Gregory Floyd, and that's all the time we have for this segment of Reaching Out. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.